Morning, mate. Becky, how are you? Hmm? You okay? Isabel, what are you doing? I'm You're playing with Connect Sand. I'm going to have fun with that. So there you go, breakfast this morning is two eggs, egg whites, roughly two egg whites I reckon, a bagel. If you wanted to cut the calories out down on that, you'd probably just have less butter, wouldn't you? So yeah, quarantined life, eh? We're gonna go through a day of eating while quarantined, I suppose. So there's a few things you're gonna have to think about while you're staying inside, not doing a lot. Your needs gonna drastically reduce, which means your overall calorie intake needs to reduce. Now, I don't really need to track calories at this point, but now's a great time to start tracking your food and being aware of what you're eating. I have the same breakfast all the time, so that doesn't really change. The only thing that's gonna change for me is the amount of calories I eat later on in the day, probably, unless snacks. That's gonna be the trick over the next few weeks. Reduce the snacks, don't keep them in the house because you're gonna to wanna to eat them. That's why Mike doesn't keep them in the house because he just turn more obese. Danny already is. Get into a routine with breakfast, that's gonna be key. Make sure you eat the similar things regularly. Keep your calories in check. If you're in a routine, you know the same thing you eat every single day, pretty much. We'll, um, we'll keep your calories controlled somewhat. So yeah, there you go. Look at him. Hard life, isn't it? Any danger, look at him. You right there, buddy? Hard life, isn't it? Look at him. You okay there, buddy? You just chilling in the sun? Yeah, I don't blame you, mate. Anyway, now I've had breakfast, it's time to time to go to the office and do some work, I think, so. Safety first, always. Probably can't do this up with one hand, can I? No, I'll just leave it like this. Off to the office. Come here. Long journey, so as you can imagine, I've got quite a few sort of home workouts to write up for people, because, um, Quarantine life in it. Surprising there's a lot you can do when you're at home. In terms of training and stuff, so obviously I'm going through people's programs, looking at their priorities, what they're looking at in terms of their goals and things like that, and then I'll take it from there really as to how to proceed. There's so much you can do at home, but not only that, people seem to forget that you can focus on other areas of your fitness and I suppose of your physique and things like mobility training, things like stretching, things like being mobile, things like core work that are often so neglected by the vast majority of people can now be focused on. I personally believe if you were to take two people, or the same person, twins let's say, and you to have one focus for eight weeks purely on mobility, stretching and core work, and you were to take the same person and let them carry on training as they were training, I would predict in 18 months time, the person that did the mobility training and could train through a better range of motion and could transfer more force through their body by having a better core would actually have a better physique in 18 months time. That'd be my prediction. People, if they were to just carry on as they were training, not train through a full range of motion, I think that if they were to go through an eight week period of full on mobility training, full on stretching, all that sort of good stuff, they would probably find in 18 months their physique would look better for it because they were trained for a full range of motion and they would actually, yes, they might have to bring the weights down slightly, but their muscle will be going through that full range of motion and I think would look better in 18 months time. Hard to see that sometimes when things go shit and like a gym shut, but in the longer term, that sort of thing could pay off. So anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this and then I guess you'll see me again at lunch. Right, so it's time for lunch, and I'm gonna have a bagel again, because I've got nothing else. I'd usually have it on a wrap. A bagel with tomato puree, and eat lean cheese. Gonna grill that, it's quite nice, and I'm probably gonna have to have this with it to bump up the protein. So yeah, that would give me about 35, 40 grams of protein, probably. These are both great low-fat options for protein. So, that's what I'm gonna make. Um, yeah, hashtag quarantine life, innit, you know what I mean? Change my mind. I'm gonna put Marmite on it instead. Went for the last minute swap rather than tomato puree. Marmite. It's always a good chat. Cheese and Marmite go so well together. If you like Marmite, she doesn't like Marmite. 
she's a wrong one, that's why. Eileen cheese does melt a little bit, so it's all right. It's always nice mixed in and sprinkling in with a bit, few other bits of normal cheese, but I ain't got any, because quarantine life. I'm just gonna enjoy this and then probably, uh, yeah, do nothing but stay inside. <laughs> Snack time. Whoa, it's about four o'clock. Not really done a huge amount, to be fair, that's been worth videoing, so I haven't. Done bits and bobs of work, trying to have some training plans for people. I should probably get outside and train at some point. I'm not feeling particularly great at the moment, from an energy point of view. Carb killer bar. Now, I think these are the best one you can get. Mike disagrees with me, he says it's like bang average. If not, it tastes like a chocolate bar. So good. Comment below if you've tried one and what you think of it. I think it's the best one. Get one. Now. I'm not eating fruit pastels. I promise you. I'm not eating any fruit pastels. Laura's in there doing that. Live Pilates class. The studio had to obviously close, so it's been really cool to see how she's adapted to that and kind of set up our living room now. So she's doing that on Zoom, which is pretty cool. So I've been rushing around this afternoon sorting that out. We're at also gym programs, people. Mm. Food shop just arrived, so I ordered a food shop a while ago. Obviously, quarantine life. This is a food shop for us and not hashtag not stockpiling. Look, it's just like a normal size fridge. Eileen cheese, egg whites, 0% yogurts, ready cooked chicken, ham, chicken sausages, reduced fat meatballs, mints, salmon, that's mainly for Isabel. Plenty of fresh veggies, bagels, wraps, brioche bread, that's coffee. I think enough coffee to last us a little while. A little bit of cereal. Hashtag not stockpiling, that's my normal amount. And pasta sauces, three, because you don't need more than why would you need more than three? That's not mine, it's Nora's wine. A bit of rice, some pasta. And this is probably like the extent of our stockpiling to be fair. Here we go. Monster, Dr. Pepper, fruit shoot, some Lodo, some pasta, some baked beans. And that's it. No stockpiling here because we're not fucking idiots. There's no need, is there? The world has gone mad. That's, this is the extent of our toilet roll as well. Just just nine, because why would you need more than nine? How many shits are you having, mate? We just had a food shop delivered. So that's kind of it. But before that all came, I had some stuff I need to use up. So I've got half a pack of chicken. I'm going to have half a pack of this. Really good. This is really, really nice. It's so tasty. Half a pack, 160 calories, nine grams of fiber. Only 25 grams of carbs, five grams of protein. Tastes really, really good. And I'm gonna have that with half a pepper. Bit boring, I know, but that's the extent of my dinner because I can't be able to cook anything, to be honest. Oh, and we've got eggs as well, sorry, eggs. There's no need to be a twat, is there? Buy everything in the fucking supermarket. And also, if you're one of those idiots who's not been doing social distancing, have a word with yourself, putting people's lives at risk. For what? Have a drink at the pub or go to the beach. Fucking idiots. Anyway, enough ranting, let's get on with it. It's alright, just a joke. So there we go, nice and easy. Dinner takes about two minutes to prepare, one minute to cut up the peppers, one minute to put on the uh, greens, and you could probably put them all on at the same time, to be fair, if you're smart, I'm not smart. And I've also got Fanta grape, possibly one of the best diet drinks you can get. Sure Michael disagree again, but he's not in a taste bud, so. This is the man who once put Philadelphia, like the lightest Philadelphia you could get, on a rice cake mixed with stevia and claimed it was just like a cheesecake. Raw pepper, underrated as well. Very good. Plain chicken's plain chicken, it? But it's gotta be, sometimes you just gotta go bro. And you can't be asked, so. Yeah. Bon appetit. I don't know.